Hey guys, MTAS here, and uh, today we're going to be going over some of my favorite Warlock exotics. Some of the best exotics that you can get on your Warlock. And for whatever reason, I had a really tough time narrowing it down, um, because there's a, lot of, there's a lot of things that happen on the Warlock that change the value of particular exotics. So if you're playing on Devour Voidwalker, Karnstein Armlets are useless, because you could just use Devour to heal pretty much constantly. But Winter's Guile... Uh, because you get increased melee damage as you start to melee enemies, uh, that's actually more valuable on De a Devour Voidwalker because you can keep healing and punching and hitting really hard. And so I, I, I honestly, I was sitting here for like probably 20 minutes trying to narrow it down. Some of them are very opinionated. Um, some of them have more value based on the way I play or the classes I use. And um, as I said before with the Titan video, take this with a grain of salt. So let's get into it. Um, the thing I've noticed is a lot of them do the same thing. You know, grant super energy, ability energy, uh, en energy for your grenades. It's all all for your abilities for the most part. Lots of them are. And uh, some of them are just better at doing it than others, so I rank them higher. Some of them are lower. Let's go. So I'm going to start things off with Karnstein's Armlets. The reason why is because it can save your ass in a lot of situations and essentially makes you a devour character on any class. So, you're really low and some thralls are running at you. You hit them once with the Karnstein Armlets and your health is going to start regening, or you're going to get a chunk of health, and then it just keeps on regening. And there's a lot of situations where Karnstein can save your life, but there's also a lot of situations where this won't have value because you simply can't melee. So that's why it's a little bit lower down, but the value that this provides is tremendous. It's also quite a bit better in PvP now because melees have been improved. So I'm a big fan of Karnstein. I think it's a good one. Let's get on to another one. Now this one, you know, this one might be controversial. <sighs> I have another world. This is a very passive exotic. All it does is buff your cooldowns and uh, it marks priority targets, aka enemies with supers in PvP. And I think, you know... I don't even know what enemies in PvE, I actually have no idea. Anyways, this one gives you cooldown reduction, it's a constant uh, uh, improvement to your cooldowns, and so it's just kind of a long-term use it and abuse it exotic, you get a lot of value out of it. Um, there's not a lot of situations where it's a bad exotic, but there's not a lot of situations where I'm blowing my load like, OH GOD THE COOLDOWNS! Uh, it's such a passive thing that you're not going to see these huge jumps, but over the course of a strike or a raid, you will see value in this exotic. Uh, now, another one is uh, Nezarek Sin. Nezarek Sin. I think I said that right. Void kills uh, increase your ability regen. Now, this is pretty cool because this actually works with uh, void weapons. So if you have a void rocket launcher, a void shotgun, whatever it might be, that's going to help do this as well. And uh, if you're using your abilities, um, let's say you're playing on Chaos, or not Chaos Reach, um, uh, oh my god, I can't think of it. The one where you explode! <laughs> Nova Warp, Jesus. Um, if you're using your handheld Nova, uh, if, you're, if you're using your melee, all these different things, you can get some pretty cool cooldowns. Um, on Devour, again, um, this works pretty good because... You melee something or you, you grenade something, and you get quite a bit of cooldown from killing things while the Devour's up, and then it's going to stack with the cooldown of this, and you're going to have a ton of grenades. And if you can keep your Devour up, you're going to have some crazy cooldowns. I'm a big fan of this one. Uh, next one up is Sunbracers. Now, this one is... It used to be like a joke in Destiny 1. It was so bad. Uh, but Sunbracers are actually pretty good in Destiny 2. Um, so if you look at it here... Um, it increases the duration of your solar grenade, making it better, but when you get a solar melee kill, it grants unlimited solar grenade energy for a brief time. This is pretty crazy. If you use this in something like a Nightfall with solar burn, you have melee one thing, and you can huck like 500 grenades. You can take out fallen walkers uh, with a couple of grenades. You can take out bosses very quickly with this. The absolute destructive power um, of these grenades is awesome, especially after the buffs. Uh, I think Sunbracers are great. You can't always use them to full effect. There are long cooldowns on grenades, but if you can stack the, um, if you can stack, like, the grenade mods, no, ordnance mods, hell yeah. You can get 30 second grenades, and you're gonna be popping them, and they're gonna hit really hard. I, I like this. I think it's a really good exotic. I think it brings a lot of value. Uh, another one on the table, uh, pretty useless in PvP, but in PvE, 
Uh, Chromatic Fire is is pretty sweet, um, just because you can always be using it against trash mobs. Uh, it's not always going to kill things, but if you're using something like Ace of Spades or a weapon with Firefly, Chromatic Fire mixed with the Firefly, um, or Dragonfly, or whatever you want to call it, uh, is pretty good. Uh, there's a lot of situations where I think that this is lackluster, and I've said it before in my review, and the fact that it's this high up on the list... Um, is mostly due to the fact that you can use it a whole bunch. But when it works, it works, and it feels really good. I find it really good against hive enemies, like it thralls. Um, you just kind of chain it, and it... I don't know. This one might be lower up. This is a personal choice for me. I think mostly just because I always see it working, and I always feel like, eh, this, this exotic is doing something. Also... As I said before, chess pieces for me are, are ranked a little bit higher a lot of the time because the unflinching perks, oops, sorry, unflinching auto rifle, that doesn't work. None of the unflinching perks seem to work. And so uh, if you throw on a chess piece, you're not giving up any really good um, perks, essentially. If you're, give, if you're taking an arm piece, um, you might be giving up uh, enhanced Reloader, you might be uh, Enhanced Impact Induction. There's a bunch of really good mods that can go on arm pieces, and chess pieces are just kind of potatoes. They're, they're shitty, so <laughs> I like that. Um, now the next one, this is we're finally getting into like the good ones. Crown of Tempest. Now this one could be higher, could be lower, depending on the class you're playing, but Crown of Tempest is amazing. Uh, as you get ability kills, it will um, it'll give you more arc abilities, and using this with your super, using this with your grenades, you can chain some pretty crazy stuff with Crown of Tempest. I think that this is one of the better exotics in the game. And actually, I think Warlock has some phenomenal good exotics. So even though this one's like, what is that, fourth on the list, let's say? Fifth on the list? Um, it's, it's still really, really good. This is probably better than the majority of some Hunter exotics and, uh, and stuff. Just the way, just the way things um, synergize with the Arc class. Uh, just the way arc bolt grenades spread out in the melee chains, and it just there's a lot that goes into this crown of tempest. And when you chain it with your super, it just <coughs> it's just, it's a good. Um, now the next one on the list is oh, it's on the other page. Geomagic stabilizers. Now this is a goddamn amazing exotic in my opinion, uh, but you can only use it on one super essentially, so it, it loses a bit of value there. But the Geomagic Stabilizers make your Chaos Reach drastically better because it, it, it recharges as you kill things, um, as you do damage actually. So you can lay into a boss and it'll fill up a whole bunch. It probably makes it 20-30% longer, your super. Uh, it also gives you a ton of super energy when you're at about the 80-85% to 85 mark. It'll shoot up that super bar and so um, you're going to get your super faster. It's going to last longer. It allows you to do more damage. It's amazing. Uh, back on the other page, I've got Ophidian Aspects. So this is number seven on the list, I believe. Ophidian Aspects are a jack-of-all-trade exotic. You're going to get Weapon Ready Speed, a.k.a. Quick Draw, Reload Speed, awesome, and melee range. Ophidian Aspect can be used on every class, and I think that this is probably one of the best exotics in the game. I'm raging because I can't get it. Every week I go to Xur, I buy all the exotics, and I'm trying to get uh, Ophidian with the, um, the Faded Engram. I'm having no luck. I've got it on PlayStation. I don't have it on PC. It makes me want to cry. I like Ophidian. I almost always use Ophidian because I play PvP more than PvE. And I would say this is more a PvP-focused um, exotic. But, I mean, reload speed and melee range, you can still use those. Weapon ready speed, you can still use those in PvE. It's good pretty much everywhere. You're always getting value out of it. Big fan. Uh, next one is Luna Faction. Uh, Luna Faction boots. Um, your rift reloads your weapons. And this is really good in PvE, especially if you're playing with a team. But it also... Um, it increases the range, so you can actually use shotguns at a, a very extended range. And I think Luna Faction Boots is probably one of the best team-oriented um, exotics. Now, since Black Spindle came out, uh, it might have changed things, because I think Luna Faction actually bugs uh, the ammo economy of it, because it keeps refilling it. And so, instead of refilling naturally from the White Nail perk, you're essentially breaking Black... Uh, no, I keep saying Black Spindle, Black Hammer... 
Whisper of the Worm. Um, it's a good exotic for pretty much everyone that isn't using Whisper of the Worm. And most people do use Whisper of the Worm, but it's, it's still a good exotic, and I feel like it brings a lot of value, um, even in just kind of neutral gameplay. If you're using your primary weapon to take out enemies, would you rather reload all the time or just constantly shoot your hand cannon, right? I think that it has some value in, um, in, in almost every situation you're going to use it in, whether you're using a heavy weapon or just your primary. You're just going to kill things more efficiently. You don't have to reload. Um, it can mess things up like kill clips, so there are issues with it, but I still think it's a good thing, especially when more people are using it. Uh, it, it kind of the, the more people that are in it, the more value it's going to get. So as a solo player, it might not be the best, but it is very, very good. Now, the big Pooba, the one I think is the best exotic in the game, uh, almost period, Phoenix Protocol. You gain super energy for kills and assists inside the Well of Radiance. This thing is bonkers. You essentially can constantly have your super. If you're using the new Well of Radiance, you always have super. Always! <laughs> Once you get it, you don't lose it. You have your super, you kill a couple enemies, and after it's done, it just goes and fills up again to 90%, 100%, 80%. It's almost impossible to ruin this or waste it, and uh, the fact that you always have super and can support your team with it is it's amazing. Um, one notable mention, I'm going to add a little notable mention. I used to hate transverse of steps. <laughs> I hated them. I was like, who wants to sprint to reload your gun? That's, that's terrible. No. Transverse of steps are actually pretty good. Um, what this does is after a short period of time while you're sprinting, it reloads your weapon. And so if you're using something that takes forever, like a rocket launcher, it can actually be pretty damn good. It also uh, improves your sprint speed, but it also drastically improves your slide distance. So transverse of steps are good on pretty much every class, has quite a bit of value. I think it's better in PvP than PvE, but this is my kind of notable mention. Transverse of steps, I love you. You're beautiful. Mm, you're good. So those are my exotics. Those are the ones I like, kind of why I like them. This went longer than I expected, but thank you guys for watching. That's a quick little video. That was longer than expected. I'm going to work on a hunter one now. Okay. I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.